once you have the cushion, you don't have to worry about the pushing. No. No, you don't. You do Obama, I do Clinton. <laughs> well, you got more pushing. <laughs> you don't have to deal with the cushion. You bring in the cushion to do the pushing. I understand. Some of you have a problem no, Obama. with the cushion. And uh, I would like to generate a dialogue. Bros play! Doom! Hey, you're all doomed. I'm moving just as fast as last time, bro. That was a good joke. I appreciated that. You know, brother, the kids they, these days, they don't joke. Kids don't understand a joke, man. Man, if you if you press if you just rapidly press A to get past that, you'll just put points into health. <laughs> what? Uh, no, I don't think you have a choice where that goes. Do you? Yeah. What? No, no, yeah. it just went automatically into health. No, you have three options. I Each one is an op upgrade point. I didn't think I hit. Yeah, bro. So what did you leave the FOV at? Uh, 90. This is standard FOV. Yeah. So this game allows you to adjust the FOV between 90 and 100. That's that is so neato burrito, brother. I love neato burritos. I have not had a burrito in a very long tenito. Um, I've had a burrito, but I'm not really like a bean and rice burrito kind of guy. I'm... Oh, okay. I was expecting a rhyme there. Oh. Burrito me one, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I I'm, not a burrito, say, like, I'm not a burrito like, rhymer. You know, I haven't had a burrito in a long time, burrito. I just, no. I thought we were doing a bit. It's okay. Sometimes you don't feel the pulse of the situation. You know? Sometimes you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Sometimes, oh. sometimes you rip out someone's heart and make them eat it. I'm gonna rip out your heart and make you eat it, big fella. The, I really like the music in this game. It's so, it's so boop a boop a boop. It's, got, it's not how it sounds. It's I'm got just, a good I'm rhythm just, to I'm it, but yeah, it's, it's definitely not a boop a boop. Oh yeah. The, um, what the fuck is that? So this, this, the, so the music in this song was written with a lot of uh, seven, eight string guitars. And the when they played this at 2016, am I allowed to say that? Is that a company name? Yeah. Sure, I think sure. You can say sure. Hopefully, if not, then um, sorry, James. Um, put that in. Um, so I don't want to offend people. Well, no. Sometimes company names create problems. Anyway, it's not important. Oh, is that oh, what no. you're gonna put over top of the company name? Yeah, yeah. Oh my. <laughs> like I'm not actually going to. It's just if there's problems, you know. In case we got problems, we got a backup name. Exactly. Like, there's times where I'm watching a Let's Play, and they're like, oh, if there's a problem, put this over it. But you're not hearing it, so there wasn't a problem. How lovely. Ooh, that's cool. That little box resets your grenade. What? Yeah. Are you sure? Ow. It's still up there. Or is that, what that, or is that the symbol that it's so ready? These are ammo boxes. But yeah, when they played it at, the, the, at a convention, um, Matt Halpern of Periphery played the drums and live really yeah man that guy is so much fun to watch perform what a dickhole yep not they, Mal, they not, not Mal, Hal, matt halpern seems like a lovely dude but that that baddie was a dickhole he's he's nice i like him if i was into drumming he'd be an inspiration but demons I'm not into will, drumming. Like, will sometimes attack one another it's pretty sweet use this to your advantage you can take advantage of the demons kadinger kadinger <laughs> That's a fucking weird word. Cadinger Sanctum. The Cadinger. I just realized I have this. Rawr. Yeah, I was playing this game on the hardest difficulty of the other day. Oh, hey, guys. Ah! It's really fun. It's, it's it's like a really fucking well put together game. It's like it's almost like not shown off by this difficulty. Yeah, how I mean this because isn't you, this you isn't only died there because you like, you got hit while you were jumping. Well, this this would have taken me probably two or three tries because you have to you have to figure out uh, what weapon to use when to be effective. Oh, to kill each of the, well, I'm trying, but it doesn't actually matter. Exactly, that's what I mean. <laughs> like this difficulty doesn't quite make this game like like this this whole highlighted uh, glory kill thing is necessary, so necessary in Hurt Me Plenty, and that's the second highest difficulty. Yeah, so check this out. Can't oh, no, take this. Sorry, ultra violence. So this is a uh, grenade? Yeah. Can't take it. 
By okay. user grenades, he refreshes it. Neato. Well, the, the particle effects on that grenade were nice. And they blow up immediately, too. And they're infinite. I gotta remember that. You don't have to pay for yeah, grenades. Yeah, it's easy to forget. What are you supposed to be using here? I don't know if you're supposed to be. I think the point of this game is the freedom to destroy your enemies in whatever fashion you may see. You can use whatever gun you want. Yeah, buddy. You can blow them up, kick them down, and take a wow. I also like how that scope op was an option. You had to buy cool. it, right? Yeah. And the other option is um, also pretty neat. It's uh, rockets that fire from this weapon. Ooh, that would actually be pretty neat. Yeah, you, you like it. You hold a different button, and they fire out in the same direction. They kind of work the same way. They're just rockets. I kind of want to try the pistol because I feel like I need a bread and butter weapon. It it gives me um. It gives me uh, fucking wrist problems. Oh, just shooting it? Yeah, because you have to pull it every single time. Yeah. And it doesn't do a lot of damage, so it involves a lot of pulling. In other words. Oh, that's true. You do really have to squeeze it every time. Eh? The grip. It doesn't yeah? It doesn't shoot that fast. Uh, no, it's more effective when. Fuck. So, like, see how many times that took? Yeah. Okay. There's a reason why this thing's infinite. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. It's, it's your... essentially supposed to be like if you don't have anything. Well, like they're telling you, like you're not allowed to have a bread and butter. You need to. You yeah. You need to cycle weapons. Absolutely. You need to use the most effective weapon. Is that armor? Uh, no. That is a that is a red key card checkpoint. No, not this guy. Oh. Is that armor? Hi. Ah. Look at that. He fucking ate your body. He ate my heart. What the fuck is that? That's um, it's a floating eye. Is it a Cattinger? Cattinger? Uh, it might be. Although I'm pretty sure they're just called floating eyes from Baldur's Gate. That's actually what they're officially referred to in the credits. Floating Baldur's eyes. And Steve West as floating eye from Baldur's Gate. Steve West. I don't think Steve West's in this. Who's Steve West? Steve West played Grayson, aka Sir Galahad. In uh, the order, 1886. Oh, okay. When you said Sir Galahad, I thought you were talking about um, Kingsman Secret Service. Well, they they are also like Galahad, Percival, um, Lancelot. Lancelot. Those are all Knights of the Round Table, and those are like code names that keep getting passed on. And the same thing with um, Kingsman. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's just common trope. Kingsman's right? so good. Oh, oh my god, shit. that's my that's probably one of my that's probably my favorite uh, Sam Jackson performance. Really? Oh, fuck yeah, man. Have you seen uh, Unbreakable? No. Ooh, that's a good one. Unbreakable, man. unkillable, un... It's a song. Is it? Yeah. Um, Did you hear how I sang it? I think, yeah, I think... I'm just that trying to remember... Indication. I'm just trying to remember <laughs> if it's called Unbreakable. <laughs> I don't think it is. Oh, the movie? Yeah. Yeah, it's something like that. Unbreakable or unthinkable. No, no, it's it's definitely something to do with him being, uh, like, with being oh. indestructible. Oh! Oh, yes, yes. That's a really old one. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like, like 1998 yeah, 90, or yeah, something yeah. like that. Um, Unbreakable, I think, is what it is, because I'm pretty sure the front cover is like a shattered Yeah, that image. sounds about right. Yeah. Who else is in it? Um, Bruce Willis is the main character. Oh, Mr. Willie. Yeah, he's dope. He's dope in it. You know, like, I think, like I the think, drug? I think B. Willie is pretty much good in everything until... You didn't like surrogates, eh? I didn't like surrogates, but I thought he was good in it. Well, that's true. There's definitely movies where I've seen where I'm like, he, he th this is um, so okay. Sometimes this is how this this is how movies work. You audition. I mean, if you're if you're super famous and they're not super concerned about your actual performance, they're just like, you want to be in it, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> then you sign on to do it. Now that contract means that you have to finish that film, whether you like it or not, because they they have you on it like they have you on strings at that point. Like you're you're fucked if you don't if you don't finish it. Just with the amount of money um, you'd owe them. Yes, yes. Like it's essentially their way because you represent the project as the as the person. Like sure it's it's great to get somebody involved, but if they record twenty percent of the movie and back out, you have to film that twenty percent and budgets aren't done with that in mind. <laughs> not not even close. No. Why no. would they be? No, because that's expensive as shit. Plus there's times where you record things. Uh, like in situ, which means in the actual situation and not in a studio or green screen room. So you can't just do it again. Yeah, like you have to pay. Like if you go somewhere and say, "Hey, can we use this place for filming?" and they're like, "Yeah, cool." If they find out how what you're making, they can charge you so much fucking money. That's why Star Wars Two was the second Star Wars. Uh, which one was that called? 
Is that Empire? The second Star Wars made? Yeah. Uh, yeah, isn't it Empire The Empire Strikes, Strikes Back? Back? And then Return of the Jedi. Yeah, okay. I think so. So, they they, they recorded that, or they, they, they filmed that movie um, with the code name Blue Harvest, which is why oh. that st- that the, the parody by um, Family Guy is called Blue Harvest. That's a cool reference. Yeah. Yeah, they, they called it Blue Harvest because uh, they knew if they told people they were filming Star Wars 2, that everyone would just gouge them. Yeah, 100%, because they know how much money there is in that. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, so you sign on to the contract. So sometimes, I mean, you can tell a decent amount about something based on the script and based on the director that, and, the, and the people that you know are working on it, but there's only so much you can tell. And there's definitely times where actors have... I mean, in both directions, misguy- misjudged. Like, sometimes they go into it and they're like, this is going to be a terrible movie. And it ends up being, like, the best movie that's for their career. I think that's a reference to it, like, the old games. Oh. That helmet. My God. What? Hel- oh, the one on the stick? Yeah. Please tell me this is going to be my weapon. Yeah, it's the oh, chain gun. Oh, my baby. God. Chain gun. Except they kind of, like, <laughs> give you a real <laughs> fuck you gun. by giving you seven bullets in it. No, it's because it shares ammunition. So this, this I just realized. The what? Shot, the shotgun and the super shotgun share ammunition. Oh. The rocket launcher has its own. The gauss cannon and the plasma rifle share. And the chain gun and the heavy assault rifle share. Wow. Is that ever helpful? I did not know that. You just thought you were losing ammo? I thought I, I just wasn't paying attention, actually. I just uh-huh. didn't care enough because I the whole I was playing in like for like two straight hours the other day, and the whole time I was just talking to dad, so I wasn't. Oh yeah, you I weren't. I wasn't giving a fuck. Yeah, the I, same. I, was, I, was playing. I was more focused on him than. That's why I like failed several times. Okay, where do I go? <laughs> um, but anyway, so sometimes you sign on to a movie, it seems really fucking great, or the directors or the producers tell you things, and that's not true. Well, they, yeah, sometimes you make promises that, well. Yeah, like a great example of that is um, Entourage. Like, like he's like, I'm gonna make Medellin the greatest film ever. Like, I think you have to clump, climb up to that that ledge. Like, and you have to jump up. One of these ones? Yeah, like I think probably the one on the right. Like right here? No, that, that right there. That one looks like it's supposed to be climbed. You can double jump, dude. What? Oh my god! Well, yeah, there you go. It's been That's so why. long since we played. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why you too. gotta keep fresh with this. Um, Everyone's like. You fucking idiots! You got double jump like four episodes ago. What are you? <laughs> what are you doing? Where? Sorry. The inter- the cool thing about the the, the, the format is that um, I, I think I have to go across. No, you got you got the red access key. So wherever the red door was that you couldn't get through is where you need to go now. Sure, I don't have to go up there. This is what Bunny was talking about. Action, Action versus, versus traction. traction. Oh, well, it's you, guiding me in a Jinx, direction. You owe me tap water. Isn't this the red door? No, that's the hell door. That's the door to hell. So 17... No, see, it's even pointing at the door. Yeah, it's pointing at the door, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's, like, directly where you need to go. Bro. Four meters away in front of me. Yeah. I'm thinking that's where yeah, I... but remember the last time we got stuck? It said the same thing, but we had to go and open a door somewhere else. There's the red door, I guess? No. no elite that's guard. A, that's an elite guard. Um, okay, where haven't you gone? There's a yellow door. So you haven't even found the yellow door or the red door. I'm thinking I gotta go up top. Any any spot that is not lit up on your map is a spot you haven't gone. Okay. Jeez. That's cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so if you see a, your favorite actor in a movie that's terrible, it's probably because it sounded like a great idea at the time. Either that or there were a lot of money. <sighs> Nicholas Cage. So I was wondering if that was coming. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, always it's, coming. Not, it's not a fucking secret. I still love Cage. I think he's probably the greatest overactor ever. It's right here. Yeah, and I that's told like you it was not, not like not an insult. I think I, like it's like one of my favorite parts about him is that his like almost every movie he's in has him like <laughs> just he's, fucking yelling. He's in some gem movies though. Oh yeah, Kickass. His role in Kickass is amazing. Oh yeah, that was a good role. Run for it, child. <laughs> Such a, that that was a very over the top role. Okay, honey, I'm gonna shoot you now because when a bad guy does it, he's not gonna be very nice. <laughs> Such flawed him. logic. Oh, I mean, no, it works. it's actually it, no, it's it's foreshadow because it happens. She gets shot. She gets shot. She's like standing in a sitting in a window, and she's like, "Fucking great job there, you did, man!" <laughs> and then she just gets shot in the chest, falls out a window. 
Oh, I do remember that. Actually, and then, yeah. and then wakes up and she's she like I don't know. She remarks on it somehow. Like, thanks, Dad. You did me a solid in not letting me die, Dad. Yeah, that really sets the tone of the movie at the beginning, where he's they're standing a, a, like twenty feet from each other, and he fires a magnum into her chest to teach her what gunfire feels like. That was like for me. I was like, okay, this is gonna be a good movie. You're at, you're at max armor, bro. Oh, that's a okay. Probably because you've been choosing health every time with the upgrade options. <laughs> you're kind of, you're supposed to balance it out. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, this... Look how many people there. Oh. Every so often you go into a playthrough and you're like, is there going to be more to talk about? Fuck, just, don't worry about it. Just go into it. Don't be, don't be worrying about before you get into a, a show like this, wondering what you're going to talk about. You'll talk about it when you get there. You'll fucking know. You'll feel, you'll get your two fingers on the pulse of the, of the episode and just fucking nail it. Very similarly, don't be worried about what you just said. It's already been recorded. Oh, I can't, I can't remember a fucking word. Like, I think we talked, okay, we talked about Nick Cage talked about Bruce Willis. Beyond that, I mean, fuck, I don't know. Uh, we talked, yeah, we talked about Unbreakable. Contracts. Yeah, it's about Unbreakable, it. that's right. I forgot about that you say already. contracts? Contracts, yeah. Did we talk about contracts? Not like Hitman contracts. We talked about contracts. Like contract law? No, like contracts of movies. movie oh, contracts. movie contracts. See? This is, this is our point. It's only been 16 minutes. <laughs> it's important, though, because you, you have to move forward. I think probably the my, my least favorite episodes are the ones where I can tell that I'm still like fixating on things that I said. I'm trying to make sure that I apologize correctly. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you consider yourself wrong about something, there's nothing wrong with changing it. But There's nothing wrong with apologizing. It's just that the point of the episode is not to apologize. Well, also, at the end of the episode, when you watch it back, which I highly recommend, whether it makes you cringe or not, that's that's how you're going to figure out what makes what makes you cringe, is by watching it. Uh, every time, like, I force myself through episodes that I know bug me. Are you gonna, okay. <laughs> we're gonna do it. Sorry, I just had to know what we're, uh... No, it's good, because in the past, you've you've just, like, gone into it for the flow of the episode, and then you're like, what the fuck am I doing in here? <laughs> Why are these guys exploding? Why am I dying? There's one I really enjoyed that was, uh, exploding the barrels. Because I, I did that the other day without even knowing what I was doing. Because I just started up, and I'm like, ooh, glowing barrels! <laughs> and then pretty it was like, easy, yeah. That was actually the mission. Blow up the barrels. So wait, Hell Knights. I don't even know what a Hell Knight is. Oh, you'll find out, brother. On the Rooney. On the Rooney Trial. Anyway, at the end of your episode, watch it. And if there's things that you feel like were incorrect, correct yourself on the next episode. If you have a hard time remembering things, I highly recommend writing things down. I do that all the time. Every time we go to something and I'm like, is that true? I'll go and look it up. And then if it's wrong, I'll write it down. And if I find new information, I'll write something else down. Which brings me to our next point. There's definitely things I forgot to write down about this session, about this um, this playthrough. So if there's something you felt was incorrect, let us know. And also know that I'm aware. Just can't remember anymore. And it's, we'll we'll yeah. try, but you know we we may not. We may not care. We may be wrong. And yeah, sometimes you just gotta be wrong. Sometimes oh, you, get, you just gotta go with kills the flow. From above. That's your. Um, it's your challenge. Oh, from above? Yeah. Oh, come on. It's actually been so long since we played this that all the episodes of Doom are on the channel. I'm, are, actually, are up. I'm actually out of ammunition. This is not good either. I'm just going to have to execute this guy. Oh, he's jump, low. Jump. You got to jump. But I got to survive oh, first. Each, each glory kill resets the timer. Gives you 20 whether, seconds. Whether it's from the top or not. Yeah. That's really cool. And you only have this gun? Yeah. I'm going to have to reduce the audio on this. <laughs> this whole scene? Yeah. So how am I going to... You just got to jump. What? Or follow your death. Either way, man. It's up to you. Okay. You're the... Are you going to exit? Yeah, we're really? not going to try that again. Really? I don't think I've ever done a glory kill from okay. above. You remember we tried in the first episode? You just, you just got to make sure you're getting them... Like, you have to be... Like, that's why there's a lot of um, ups and downs. Yeah. It's a very Dark Souls-esque level right there. Yeah, but... I'm joking. It's not. No. Just, no, it's not Dark Souls at all. Dark Souls 1 um, is so vertical. It's almost v as vertical as it is horizontal, and I love it. That's an exaggeration. There's way more horizontal. But <laughs> a lot of its, like, main levels, like the set piece levels, are, like, especially, um... Well, Bloodborne sent Yes. Boasts, like, also, a very vertical game. Yes. I, 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 and Dark Souls 3 got very vertical as well. Uh, it's such a great example. It's just like such a cool sequel 
um, series. Like each sequel adds something, removes annoying old things. Let's get vertical. With this, what's that? Let's get physical. Oh, okay. Let's get vertical. With the exception of Dark Souls 2, which was weird. So what had ha I don't know. I kind of I, yeah. I should probably explain this. What had like, happened? What had was... happened was. Um, Is this okay, a I guess bag? I guess I won't tell this story in Bloodborne, where it would be much more appropriate, since I've already brought. It. I'm not gonna be like, yo, I'm not gonna talk about this. Ch head over on over to our other <laughs> playlist that may also, not come out for. Also, <laughs> also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today's like goal is 50 billion. Today's like goal is one. Oh, really? Yeah, well, that, that's Dad, so we're going to get it. Oh, okay, never mind. Never, Dad we got likes one. all the videos. Our like goal is two. We want to double our likes on this video. And, and that's he, a 100% increase. <laughs> and he leaves, and he leaves uh, his playlists open to the public. <laughs> so people can go and oh, like, really? watch his playlists of us. <laughs> Okay, do you have any idea what uh, weapon upgrades um, are good to... No, I don't know anything past the machine gun, actually. Precision bolt. Zoom in. Okay. Siege mode. Penetrates oh, you targets. gotta go for that one. Look at the, the image Siege they're showing you. Siege mode. Look, it just vaporizes that. them. <laughs> okay. Also, I love the simplicity of the upgrade system here. How it's just like one point. One point goes into one thing. Yeah, I guess. I can get over it. But, so, I thought I, oh, so I had one point, and then when I found him, I could spend that one point. It's not like he... I think he represents a point, because you can't go back in. Because I thought I had points. I thought I had some sort of um, weapon on upgrade points. You That's did the it wrong again. Button. See, I'm, I, I'm, it's fine, it's fine. I still think it's silly, but It's a it bad is. spot there for the is. share button. Um, Although, where's a good spot for the share button, right? Here, I thought we had... No, maybe not. Yeah, you see, we have, like, seven points. Yeah, you got those your points for here. Oh, look, you got you got two vacuums. I got two vacuums. You got a vacuum too, bro. Okay, well, thank you, little bot. Oh, and thank you for joining us. Look at that. Next time, ghost rifle. We're we're ending on traction. That's fine. Next episode, action. <laughs>